Metro 535, show me 1097 in the area of 322. Do you see this van? Hey, Finn. This is gonna scrape the shite out of my car. Oh. It's probably fucked for them, so we're just gonna fix it. POD on the vehicle. What's the plate say on that? Nine. Hi, sir. It's Bullet. We're in the area and you just happen to be here, so. Oh, what are you all doing? Right. Metro 518, 1015 in Rashford. What okay, is that, sir? What company sir? do you work for? He's doing deliveries. What company do you work for? Gifting Incorporated. Okay. Do you uh, happen to know anything? Did you see anything related to this vehicle? Anyone leave the vehicle? Did you see it driving? Nah, I rolled up here probably like 15 minutes ago to make my delivery, and it was just parked there. Uh, so you're making delivery, so you don't work here. <laughs> We're just and looking in. Just in. Vicinity, you just it's all good. From another place. It's all good. It's all good, we'll take a look. Yeah, he doesn't really match the exact description. I'll leave you with him. Okay. Can just be another. Metro 444, please 1051 to the TV. What we got, Julie? Definitely the vehicle. Definitely Pretty the much. car? Yep. Sorry, it was stolen and brought here? I. Yeah. Yeah, dispatch sent us the call to the phone, and I mean, Lojack reporting another stolen vehicle. Light blue and yellow. Yeah, matches this. Ten twenty-eight of zero one. Queen, sorry, Quebec. Mike Zebra eight two five. Yeah, in here it's it's ocean, but. Okay. Oscar, fuck me, I can't do phonetics today. Metro phone eight at ten. It says it's got a, it's got a dash cam, hopefully, like the other one. Uh, I'm gonna try and see. I won't touch anything because I don't have any gloves on. I'll actually, I might just go and grab some. I have them. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, that is not what I wanted. <laughs> Hey Julie, the best thing about here though, this is a much more populated and hopefully more security camera heavy location. Alright, we're gonna put on some gloves. What did he have to say? Oh my goodness. Sorry about that. Uh, which is, I guess, the doctor didn't fix. Um, they, he said that. Uh, well, he happens to be Jack Hawthorne, the manager of uh, the Mr. Hickens who we made contact with earlier. Uh, he was making delivery from that warehouse that we were at before. Um, he saw the vehicle parked here when he got here about 15 minutes ago. Uh, and I mean, I don't know what else to ask him. I, I think he's clear. Uh, Did he, he say just anything? Made delivery. He doesn't match our description. He didn't say anything, no. He just got here whenever the vehicle was. What was his name? I don't, want to, I don't know if he can go inside. Jack Hop. The last name is H A W. Then Thorn without any. 
was the 28 for that band? That just in case, and can we get his phone number as well, just in case? In case we need to contact him? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll do that. I don't know if we want to go inside the uh, company as well and see if we can get any footage. Yeah, yeah let's get some CCTV footage, hopefully. Uh, we don't need his number, I'll just get his plate. White Vapid Van 1028 of 94 Union Romeo Uniform Romeo Victor Is that 320? Yep 320 Detectives, uh, do you guys already look up that partial plate that we got? Because I looked it up and there's only one plate in the system. And, uh, I have a vehicle as well as an RO. For what? The, uh, black... For the partial plate that came back on the dash cam foot. Only one plate actually had those starting, uh, letters in our system. It's a black and red LOG custom. Coming back to a Brian card, valid and sure. Um, let me look up what Brian card... Okay. Partial. He matches the description. Mm. Partial plate of what? F O T N. Foxtrot Ocean Tango November. And it comes back to a black elegy. Yeah, Brian Card, who matches the description. I don't know about clothing, but the picture that I'm seeing, it matches. Black shirt, black jacket. I don't know if you wanna... I might set that as my, uh, photo plate in my radar system. Um, and just make contact with him, because he's definitely a person of interest. Okay, uh, just to be clear, where rest did the partial plate come from? The dash cam footage, I believe, from the... from this video, from this, uh, view. This car right here. Yeah. I oh, so. wow, as yeah. our computers are a lot quicker just than earlier cool then, gee, so... Yeah. Okay. Have we got an um, address for this guy? Haven't done anything. Uh, let me look. We always White carry our tablet the door around. Door just has no priors, he says one traffic prior. Maybe? He said 184 Armadillo? Oh, uh, yeah, I believe so. Ah, uh, like with Armadillo. a K. I believe okay. this is a typing error by our DMV. It's Armadillo Vista 184. Yeah, he actually has three cars yeah, has registered no to him as well. Um... What if we... Maybe I could yeah, go take a personal vehicle, Spear. drive around the block, try to look non-suspicious, see if I see anything, and then... You could just take your own mark. I, I doubt anyone will pick shit. up that's a police car. Mm, okay. Should be good. It's better in case he runs to be in a national unit in case. Have a sip. Yeah. Do you just want to go and let me stay here? Or do you want one of us to come along? Or... Uh, I think that, he's free to go. That gentleman's free to go. He's not involved, I guess. Um. I don't see any cameras on any walls around here, so I don't think we're going to get any CCTV footage of this bit, but... It's free to go. We, maybe we should go and take a look on the street, Julie. Maybe we might get a camera come, you know, catching him come off the street. Um, one sec. Oh. Oh, be warned say that there are cameras operating in this area that's strange but but I don't see any camera though unless they're like one of those like very small undercover ones what's this down here oh, I think that's just a lot 
I mean, why else would you have a sign that says watch out for cameras if you don't have a camera? Unless it's just like one of those like precautionary things. It's not true. They just say it is. More of a bluff, you reckon? Yeah, I mean, it's possible. Yeah. Possibly a bluff, because I see zero cameras in this area. Yeah, I do as well. I thought this area might have had a couple, but... Uh, maybe take a walk up here for a second. We'll just look under some of these structures. Alright, uh, we can go ahead and go to the resident. Yeah, we're just going to try and find a couple of cameras in the area, either here or on the main street, see if we can get a, a possible location where he may have walked, or a bit more of a description, even. Yeah, oh, just, okay. uh, yeah. I guess just clear the car. Metro 535, can we get a 1070 to our location? Thanks, dispatch. Hey, look at this. Oh, there's one. Haha. Uh -huh. It doesn't have a very good I'm angle, really but if he came this camera. way... It's not a very um, good angle, but if he came this way, it could be. Even from down here. I might. Yeah, yep, yeah, let's... Let's, uh... I'll, I'll not... Knock, knock, LSPD detectives. Anyone in there? Oh, hi, sir. Lieutenant Henry with the LSPD. This is Detective Roberts. Um, we wouldn't be able to have a look at your CCTV footage, would we? We can. Thank you. I appreciate it, sir. Um, sir, if you can just, um, here's my business card. My email address is right there on the bottom there. If you can just send me, um, like, show me what's on this hard drive and also send me a copy to that after we leave, that'd be great. And then that way you can keep your hard drive and disk. Thank you. Yeah. He's just gonna try and rustle up the, um... So I think there's something wrong with your garage door over here. Hmm. Yeah, I see it keep opening. I don't know what that's about. I think his fob might be a little broken. Just waiting for the tablet to load a bit quicker. Alright, it's up. He's emailed me. Uh, we got... Alright, oh, that, va that vapid actually came down this road here. Perfect. This guy on the CCTV footage earlier, he got out of the car, right, on the footage and sent some messages, what appeared to be messages on his phone, right? He's... He gets out of the car down here as well, like when he was coming past here and he's on his phone again. Like, is he the one calling 911? Telling us that, like, is he trying to show how good he is and, like, is he trying to taunt us or is he sending it to someone else to pick the car up? Yeah, I don't know, because why are they leaving these cars in these places unless they, like, have someone can pick him up after I don't know. Is it a taunt at us or we're gonna have to go find him? Or is it or is he delivering the stolen cars to somebody? I don't know. I say we go ask him. Well, suspect. Yeah, if we didn't have a suspect, um I'd be asking myself a few more questions, but since we do have a suspect, possibly, um yeah. I'm gonna go drive around the area and see what I can find. So, CCTV footage showed the car coming southbound down this alleyway and then made the right turn. Um, he was on his phone again, so we don't know if he's texting someone about where he's put the car, or if he's or if he's the known one caller and he's just taunting us, trying to show us how good he is at stealing cars and then just giving them back to us. Very interesting that it was a uh, county to a game. I don't know why he bothers stealing a vehicle. Very nice vehicles, to say at least, and then just... Abandoning them. But, well, hey, the thing is, he could be so. ditching them here for someone else to pick up and take them down to the docks or something. I don't know, or it's a taunt to us. It's either, unless there's some other motive that I'm not seeing. Sure. 
Well, do we want to swing by the residence and check it out? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So he's, uh, what was the residence? 184. 184. Yeah. 184. Where the hell's that? I think that's near like the oil fields, sort of. Down near the yeah, oil, near the oil field. fields. It's near El Rancho. El Rancho. Whatever. Yeah, let's take a look down there then. Alright, we're gonna head to postal 184. We'll do a bit of a stakeout and go from there. actually gonna find it in that so we might as well just do this so yeah we're gonna head over there and I will talk to you guys um, once we get there this is the worst thing about this road is it's literally shit like that Metro 518 can someone run a 20 uniform good gonna be San Andreas Foxtrot Oscar Tango November 1615 FOTN 1615 it's gonna come back to a black in color, black and red in color, um, LHG. I'm right behind it. Uh, I don't know if this is our vehicle. This is in the area. Um, if 444 can advise. 518, that was the vehicle that myself and the other investigations units were separate of the we got. Oh, negative, I see. Uh, we're in northbound Cali Avenue at the moment, 370 postal. 104, I see you on the, on the intersection. I have him, possibly. It's going to be a Brian Card, he's a person of interest in reference to the case. Um, Careful, you want him to be to stop him? Yeah, go ahead, we'll question him. Hey. Should we... We could apply for hey. a search warrant and maybe just go in his house now, to be quite honest, if he's on a traffic stop. Uh, yeah, I'll have 103, just... Do you want us to bring him for questioning? He is a person of interest and was caught in the... Yeah, he's a person of interest. Let's detain footage. him and bring him in. Based on being a person okay. of interest in three separate Grand Theft Autos in the recent, what, six hours? Yep. Yep. Might hide my gun as well. Hmm. I didn't have any high heels, uh, like any other shoes, so I'm just, I still look a little out of place. We're stopping at postal 370, so 370, mm. southbound Palomino. Three what? 370. Up here, maybe? We're about to lay on a stop with him. I heard some around Palomino Ave. I think they're down on the speechy. Might, we might just head that way. We could always come back and raid his house. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Alright, we're actually going to untuck our gun. I don't know if his house is even the one with the interior, so it may not even be worth raiding it, so it's coming that's currently why my decision's based on just going down there, to be quite honest. Alright, we're gonna go and try and preserve some of the the crime scene here in terms of the 31 that happened. See, like you guys are idiots, there's police yeah, just go through it, yeah.
Nothing. Hey, Kim, did you get a description on a uh, other guy? Guy who ran in his Tudor sports car? Because that's the only reason I put him over. Um, or was gonna put him over. Because uh. uh n no. So, so I pulled the, the call originated from a gas station, and I pulled yeah. in there. And uh, when I pulled in the gas station, is when uh, the radio call came across that you were behind uh, the suspected vehicle. Um, so I wasn't actually able to make contact with the RP. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, I might head down there if you want. Oh, you can. Mm, just a handful of car magazines that I can find in the car. You found what? Just a whole heap of car magazines in the car. Literally what's in my hand right here. Oh, okay. I don't think there's any magazine in mics. If there is, I will use it. Go ahead and put that in the bag as well. Yeah, just give me a sec. No, it's not. Who's Kazi in? Isn't that his own? Job. What was that? Oh, he's in my car. Oh, he's in yours. Yeah. I'm gonna take him down to VPD. Hey, also, just, I'm uh, just flickering through some pages here. There's some handwritten notes with vehicle mm -hmm. models and license plates on them as well. Oh. Oh boy, we have a car theft ring going on. Yo. Yeah. And obviously this okay. one that Yeah, I mean, whatever got me here, he, just, he was not compliant. I asked him to get another vehicle. Can and you throw me that tablet? Continue to say. Why? But... The who mine? Can you throw me your tablet? Here you right go. There? Thanks. Yeah, there you go. I'm just looking up these numbers and stuff on here. Yep, they're a match for the cars that are previously stolen that we've investigated. Mm hmm. Good. I would say that's a slam dunk. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> to get that like horrible black jacket that I had on the passenger seat off me it was like ugh. Mm. yeah no I saw that I was only being nice when I said it would look good that's all me. I had I was it was just one of my hoodies that I wear around home sometimes and I just look, mm. it's not a work it's not comfortable for work and running it yeah yeah hey yo, what did you guys want him for because honestly I only really put him over because he matched the uh, two door description, two door car description. Well, I'll uh, be honest with you, all he was, was wanted for was um, we only wanted to talk to him with an ongoing investigation of stolen BAPA GTs. It was literally all we wanted to do was ask him some questions. He was a person of interest. Oh, wow. Yeah, pretty much. And I just found some magazines in his car, and the plates of vehicles that were stolen are literally here on a note inside some magazines, so. Yeah. Yeah, he matched the description of CCTV and dash cam footage that we actually reviewed. Mm -hmm. Of three separate oh, yeah. footage. Well, Kim, yeah. Kim is making a call to the now one uh, caller to see if we can get a description. But uh, yeah, so the other call was a rapid bullet was uh, almost stolen. They've all been uh, rapid yeah, bullets. Like, uh, they this seem dude to be was coming to us today. Of stolen yeah, cars. yeah, we've been running around finding stuff. That would be our third one. Bullets. Yep. So I uh, I rang back dispatch. I rang back this dispatch, and they gave uh, they gave the RP a call from that um, attempted carjacking at the uh, gas station down by Vespucci, and his description matches both the vehicles. 
vehicle and the suspect uh, from this 1031 here. Right. Okay. okay. He's definitely Brian Card. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I then. think so. Those cars probably don't even fucked up. Hey, Mr. Card. What's up, cutie? Okay, it is you? Okay. Oh, boy. Perfect. Alright, we must have taken him down in town and we'll ask him some questions, I guess. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'll go ahead and make my way to BPD. Okay. Sounds fantastic. I'm just gonna cuff you to the desk. Hmm. Okay. Ah, oh, I bet you like that. I bet you like that. <laughs> maybe I do. <laughs> oh, maybe I do. It's one of us. Good. Uh, you wanna play good cop, good cop, or bad cop, bad cop, or good cop, bad cop, or bad cop, worst cop? Maybe option. we can play good cop, worst cop. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll uh, be the good cop. Oh, good. Perfect. All right, let's go. You stay here, detective, and you <laughs> observe. Yeah. Oh. You you just want to stand on the chair Ah, the ladies. Sir? You just want to stand on the uh, chair? It's kind of the chair fell over for me, so I'm just standing. Oh, okay. Um, okay, well, Definitely. I'm Lieutenant Henry, this is Detective Roberts, um, interview commencing at 12.29, uh, with, what was your name again? Brian Card, that's it. Yeah. I like that name. So, Brian. What up, girl? What's a good looking guy like you, you know, running from the cops for? Well, they pulled me over for no good reason, so I just didn't feel like talking to them. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. You know what? Some days I feel like that, like, my ex-boyfriend, oh my god, is he a dick, um, like, stalks me some days, I swear. Oh, so you're single. It's good to know. I, I am single. This is very valid. And, you know, like, sometimes he tries to talk to me and I have to run away too. So what you're saying is kind of like that. It's just you needed to get away from from them, you know? Well, yeah, when, when I did nothing wrong and they pulled me over and they're saying I need to get out of the car, I just thought I'd go about my day. Okay. Alright. Do you know anything about any of these stolen cars? Ah, oh, some nice cars. Bath of Well, it's pretty quick. I have some faster ones out there, but it's not bad. Mm -hmm. Um, mm. you've had your rights read to you, to get correct? One? Yeah, he has. Perfect. Oh, so you've never seen these cars, only mm. in pictures before? Well, I mean, there's a couple of guys up in the Vinewood Hills that I know own some of these. That's about the only place I've seen them. Okay. I love guys that drive these cars. It's just so hot. Don't you think so, Shannon? Yeah, you have the fingerprint scanner on you in your pocket, don't you, right? I do. Mm. I really do. Yeah, so, so Mr. Carr, just to rule you out as a as a um, suspect in this ongoing police investigation, Detective Roberts here is going to take some prints off you, and we're going to run them against some prints we have in the vehicles that were stolen. And if they don't become a match, then um, you'll be on your way. Oh, so I get clean and cleared and the hot cop gets to touch me? Um, I mean, you'll be clean and clear from us too, but then the patrol officers might want to talk to you, though, about fleeing and eluding from them. Yeah. How unfortunate. Well, maybe your man detective hiding behind the glass over there shouldn't have been such a dick. Um, I don't know what man detective you're talking about. <laughs> I mean, I'm just, he walked mm. in here with us, so I'm just guessing that he's standing behind that lovely glass. Oh, no, I sent like, him for know, a coffee just I've to let the... I've been known to be wrong before. It's all right. No, I sent him to get oh, coffee. Oh, girls come to play? 
because all um, right. I yeah, like I seem to go. I seem to go and get coffee watching. because um the grown ups had to have a conversation. You know. Why wow. was he a dick? He said I had to get out of the car. He wouldn't just talk to me with me sitting in the car. <laughs> well, it just sounds like you hate him because he has a dick, not because he was one. Oh. Nah, he was a dick. You'd agree if you were in my shoes, mm -hmm. honey. Mm-hmm. How are we going with the prince over there, detective? Yep, just getting the thing ready. Sir, can I have your right hand? Uh, you might there have you to go. just take it, because, I mean, they're behind his back Sweetie. there. <laughs> I cuffed him to the desk. Oh, good. Good. True that. You single, Mr. Card? Yeah. You interested? No, I'm not. Sorry. I, I unfortunately don't really oh. date anyone. I have a child and it's just... My life's very busy. Hmm. I'm single. Hmm, all right. Ah, so, well, it, it sounds like you're both mm. single. Just loading. Not when you're asking. Oh. Ow. That many men treat you wrong, huh? I'm sorry, honey. Hmm. It's the other way around, but okay. We'll go oh. this way. So you cheat on them then. I got it. Hmm. You said I cheat. Excuse me? Alright, Mr. Card. So let's get back on to the main topic here of why you're here. Um, so we have CCTV footage of you, you know, around these stolen vehicles that you say you've never been near. Well, like I said, I've seen, you know, some vapid bullets around. You know, drive past them every once in a while. Maybe take a little peek. Yeah, but nice some of these were in alleyways nice and in some interesting spots, and you would have had to go. You know, you would have had to go and look for them to get them. Yeah, well. I got a well, my question is nice cars. You say you take a look at them, but how come there's fingerprints inside these vehicles, and they belong to you? Uh, that's news to me, honey. News to you. Oh, no, yeah. Detective Roberts, I believe him. Like, he's he doesn't look like someone who would steal cars. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he just wanted to take a look at them, so he broke into them, you know, touched it everywhere and took it. I mean, wrong. No, that's not I what you did, is it, Brian? Wrong. Detective Roberts is wrong, isn't she? Am I wrong? Did you steal these cars? You're trying to impress somebody? <laughs> impress somebody? No. Then why'd you take these cars? You can tell me. You stole these cars, didn't you, Mr. Card? I mean, I checked them out. To go for a little joy ride? To find I mean, checked I, out. I wouldn't object to that. I mean, I probably would take them for a joy ride, too. Yeah. It's a beautiful car. I would take them around the block. Uh -huh. I would take them around the block all fucking day. Is that what you did, Mr. Card? I just checked them out, you know? How'd you check them out? Did you just make sure everything still worked or... on them? Oh, and uh, why? What do you think was wrong with them? What were you checking? I don't know. The suspension looked a little off when I walk around. You know, just doing them a civil service. Hmm. Was the gear shifter working properly? The steering wheel was that all good? Yep, all checked out. Oh, that's perfect. All checked out. You checked out the steering wheel. Did the buttons work? Did the radio work? I find, like, radio is just so important. The radio is the most important thing of a car, Julie. Like, mm -hmm. goddamn, you've got to have good music and a good radio station. If you don't have either, and Bluetooth. Goddamn mm -hmm. Bluetooth is an essential mm -hmm. thing to have in a car. Oh, yeah. Did you test that the radio, too? Well, yeah, knowing how much the girls like listening to the tune, you gotta make sure it works. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'd love me some Ariana Grande. Mm. I, I I love myself a little bit of um anything really. Ooh. Oh. Did you happen to check, you know, the the speedometer if it was working, you know, the gotta check the pedals, did you check those? It's really important, you know, gotta make sure you have the brakes work. Yeah, but thankfully you can make sure all of those things work without the vehicle moving. 
Oh, oh that's, that's right. Great. He got us. He got us there, detective. He's so true. Mm. It's true. Except, it's so true. Except, hang on though. Just hang on one sec. He got us real good. Oh, he did. Like, I don't know how we're gonna come back at that one. That's you. So you might actually walk yeah. free out of here just yet. Oh, but hang on a second. These cars have CCTV footage dash cams in them facing the driver. Do you want? Do you want to have a squeeze of what we can see? Mm-hmm. Show sure. Because, I mean, I don't know about you, Detective, but, I mean, this looks like Mr. Card, right? Yeah, and the last time I checked whether the car moves or not, you're not supposed to be in it, but I don't know. Yeah. I mean, if it's not your property, why else would you be in it? Yeah. You just admitted to testing out the steering wheel, the gear shifter. That's mm. a little interesting. Yeah, but this CCTV Cars footage contradicts that, Detective. Like, it, it shows him driving it. Yeah, it does. The, the tires are f clearly moving. I mean, unless the vehicle's levitating. I mean, the did you, I mean, Did you discover levitation? Maybe someone was pushing the Is car from the behind, so like, physically pushing it, and he was just Maybe. sitting there steering it. It's you from behind. Oh, I bet you would. Mm -hmm. You'd get knocked out from behind. <laughs> wow. Oh, now I'm starting to understand why you're single. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now I'm starting to understand why you're a criminal. So, Mr. Carr, this is what I think happens, okay? This is what I think happened today, okay? I think that you have a boss or a friend or something along those lines who maybe rang you tonight. Or to this morning or something, or even text you. I mean, we're going to have text go through your phone if you had a phone on you. And this is what I think happened, okay? I think you got some license plates, some photos even, and some good details of the Vapor GTs that you needed to steal today. And I think you set out today looking for them. And I think you found two of them, even three, because cops said that you were leaving the scene of another one. And your fingerprints are in them. We have footage of you driving them. And I, th I think that you just... You know, you just wanted to take these cars and just get paid, right? Like, you just wanted to get some money out out of it, right? I mean, making money is a good thing. Exactly, isn't it? exactly. Isn't that what you two and are doing here, talking to me, trying to yeah. make some money? Exactly, you're just trying to make some money just to impress some girl, right? You're just trying to make a living. I, mean, I already got some nice cars. I impress all the ladies. Mm -hmm. Okay. But but why should you? I'm sure be... you thought my car was nice. It's fast. Mm -hmm. But why? I mean, your car's a little fucked up at the moment. It's in the it's in the impound lot in a few pit, bits. Well, of yeah, pieces, you can but... blame whoever was driving that Tahoe, man. He a bit excessive. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll get to that a bit later. But driving it. But like you're just trying to make a living, and unfortunately, this is the horrible part. You're gonna go to jail here, and it's this is a terrible thing. This is where I get a little cut up. You're gonna go to jail, while whoever was getting you to actually steal the cars, he's gonna be out free. He's gonna be. Sipping that wine, getting those girls, and having the time of his yeah. life, honestly. And where are, are you? you? While oh, you're in a prison. Four, so, yeah, rotting in prison. Mm -hmm. Terrible. Yes, Probably is. with someone who's not as pleasant. So, Mr. Card, I'm going to ask you one time, and whether you, you know, agree to give us stuff or not will depend on the deal I make with you. But I'm I'm more than willing to you know work with you and help you out and maybe maybe we can get you out of here a lot earlier than what ten to thirty years. Oof. That, that sounds pretty good, right? Yeah. yeah. I take that deal. Mm, I take that deal all day. You know, I would run with that deal. But so I get less time, and what do you want? Well, what do I want? I want to know who hired you to steal the cars. Mm-hmm. You see, Mr. Carter, all you've got to do is talk. You. We always go for the bigger fish. Yeah. You're just a little fish. You just want to know who. You're just a little fish trying mm -hmm. to make some money, okay? And we, we want the bigger fish, you know? We want the guy yep. that's got all the money. And, you know, he's the one... He's the real criminal yeah. here. You're not the criminal. He is. Yeah. Just trying to help you out. All you gotta what do kind is. Of deal we talking, ladies? All you gotta do is talk. It's all you gotta do is literally talk and give us names. That's all you gotta do. And instead of going to prison for maybe ten years or more, 
maybe go to jail for five. Maybe you go for even less. It could even be probation, honestly. You couldn't have detective. Like, I mean, I have to talk to the ADA, but I can definitely wipe 10 years. Like, you don't have to go to jail for 10 years. We can say that right here, right now, but... But it all depends on what you give us. Met some guy to car meet. Met some guy to car meet. And what's his name? Does he have a name? I think he went by like Jack. Oh. Does Jack have a last name? Wouldn't nah, be Hickens, would it? What if I know? What does he mm -hmm. look like? What do you look like? Hmm. White guy. He was wearing a hat, so I didn't see his hair color or anything. Looked pretty normal. You didn't see his hair color? No, he just. I mean, we got to talking about cars and stuff, and he said he had an opportunity with some stuff, and pointed me towards the dark chats of the interwebs and said to keep an eye on it if I needed some extra cash ever. Mm -hmm. How old did Jack If you were to see a picture of this guy, would you recognize him? Yeah, well, that, that's a good option. Um, maybe. I mean, it was kind of dark out. Mm. See, the issue with it being dark out and you not really remembering means the deal that we offered you goes bloop, down the drain, you know? That's how unfortunate that goes. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's got my phone, so I'm sure you'll find something on there. We will, eventually. How old was this Jack guy, while well, Detective Roberts tries to find a picture that you will hopefully recognize? Mm -hmm. uh, probably about my age, I think. How old are you? 50? 51? Well, that was a bit rude. What, was that too young? Alright, sir. Ooh, I think so. 36. 36, okay. So he was, you know, between 30 and 40, we'll say. Is that what you're saying? Probably. Alright, Mr. Card, are you ready? Yeah. Right. I mean, this is going to very, uh, very largely impact your deal. If you say this is our guy, and you're truthful about it. If not, deal goes out the door. Hey, have you got his mobile phone? Hello? Hello, hello, hello. Is this Detective Death? Hello? Oh. So is that a yes or a no? Is this the man? You saw him at the car meet. Oh, maybe Jack Hickens was going to pick the car up and we okay. maybe interrupted him. Um, just try and open the, like, get text and look in the phone if you can. He got the phone. Uh, detective, the newbie detective, he's going to get text to rush the phone. Okay. Was that a match on Jack Hickens? Stop getting on the desk. No, but apparently uh, he did see him at the car meet he went to, apparently. But it's not the guy. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, it is. So, Jack. Hmm. What else can you tell me about Jack, Mr. Card? That's about it. What was I he wearing? else for you. Uh, like normal clothes, t-shirt, kind of like dressy pants maybe, not necessarily jeans. Were they blue? Were they black? Uh, Orange? It could have been 
dark blue or black, it was at night. Like, they weren't some obscene color. What about his, what about this shirt? You mentioned he was wearing a shirt. What color was that? Uh, mm, like a lighter color, light blue, gray, maybe. Hang on, say that again, sorry. That uh, was a lighter color, maybe, maybe in the blue shades, possibly even gray, you know. Hmm. All right. What do you think, Detective Roberts? Do you think it's... I mean, he hasn't given us a whole lot to really even make a deal here, unfortunately. And I was kind of hoping to go out on a date with you, because I, you know, I thought we could get you on probation or something, but I doubt a DA yeah. is going to sign that. Well, I mean, you told us was the name of somebody in a very vague description that could literally be anybody. It could be me if I cut half my hair off. Yeah. Well, it was definitely a dude. I can't tell you that much. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's very helpful. Did he like? Did he get in a car? What sort of car? I think he had like an Audi R8, maybe. He had a really nice car there. Mm. I think you can do better than that. You seem like a guy who's really good with your hands, and you know you can tell a car from a mile away. I think you know exactly what kind of car was it. So. Okay, it was mm -hmm. blue Audi R8. He was showing it off. A blue Audi R8, okay. Blue Audi R8. Like dark blue or light blue? Uh, pretty sure it was a lighter blue. Now, I, I want to try something on you, okay? This will... This will this will define whether you get a deal or not, okay? And you won't need them, trust me. Alright. So, how, how long ago was this meetup? Ah, uh, probably about a month ago. Okay. So I want you to close your eyes for me. Alright. Like I said, this will do, this is, all you gotta do is remember for me, okay? So let's go back to a month ago and okay, it's it's an it's what, maybe ten minutes before the car meet or something. What was the weather like? Ah, uh, it was a nice night out. Okay. Was it windy? Was it warm? Uh it's Starting to warm up a little bit, not a lot of wind. Okay. So you're at the car meet now, okay? Be outside. And there's there's lots of engines revving and girls and guys and lots of good looking cars around. What do you see? Uh pretty much what you just described. Lots of nice cars, lots okay. of hot girls. All right. Lots of guys trying to show off. Mm-hmm. So keep your eyes closed and keep Keep thinking about back then. Now, I want you to try and fast forward a little bit to the the blue Audi, and I want you to tell me everything that you see and remember, okay? Even the smallest detail could help. Uh, it was nice. It was pretty clean. It was definitely a light blue. Okay. What about the plate? Like, focus around the back of the car. It's got some really nice tail lights, probably. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Okay. I thought it was kind of funny. I think it had, like, IQ in it somewhere. IQ. Uh, that was kind of interesting. Okay. So try and focus around yeah. the license plate a little bit more and just slow, slow the image down in your head. Uh, it's just that IQ is sticking out. There might be a 9 in there somewhere. IQ 9? Uh, maybe a couple nines. I, I don't think they were right next to each other. Okay. 
Now, keep your eyes closed. Is there anything else that you can remember that you can that stands out to you? Even it could even be about him. I mean, he was wearing a hat, but it looked like like this like all the hair was tucked in and like what well, the skin like there was but it was like shaved up to like you could tell there was hair under the hat, but it was definitely like shaved up to so he had hair on top, but it was like shaved all around like the edges. Yeah. That. Yeah, that. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, we'll go here. Okay. Anything else that stands out to you? Just try and slow down the memory. Mm. What no. What about his rims? Like what kind I mean, of like his hubcaps? The only other... Oh yeah, continue. Uh, I think they were just the standard hubcaps. Okay. But I know he did spend a decent amount of time talking to the other guy you showed me a picture of. Mr. Hickens. They look like they knew each other. They, I think they might have known each other because they kind of did the whole like shake hands like they know each other old friends kind of deal okay you can open your eyes mr card He's better out here anyways. Mm -hmm. Interview terminated at 13.59. I have an idea. What's your idea? I know that and I don't know if we have it. I don't know if we have it, but we could. I don't know if we could get the FIB to do it, but... There are ways to search for partial plates that don't necessarily go in order, but you can also search the type of vehicle and its registered color. Oh, I'll get one of the analysts to like do a, they can do a check yeah. on all the Audi R8 owners in the state and then mm -hmm. they can do a, a mixed partial yep. plate registry for it. Yeah, that's true. Do I know? don't, yeah. I think only the feds have that. Yeah, I um, don't know about our techs. Um, I've got contacts unless you have contacts at... FIB HQ. Uh, not at this one. I had it back when I was in Liberty. But uh, you can go ahead and call them and see what we can get out of that one. Alright, I'll do that the first. Uh, I need I need food. It's what, 2 o'clock? This guy, we've got him yeah. anyway for now. Um, we'll make, I'll make a call at lunch. To, at, yeah, we'll go for lunch, I think. Okay. Did Is the phone with text detected? What's that? Uh, his phone, Mr. Cards, did you take it to Tech Tech? Tech Tech. I did not. I didn't recover the the cell phone. I don't know if someone else did. Oh, I reckon one of the other officers have it. That's all right. It should be logged in. Yeah, as evidence probably anyway. put into evidence. Yeah. 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 All right. Um, who? I've got a report. I've. Was you writing everything down as well, Detective Roberts, or? Not. I need to do it. Yeah, I was writing some of the stuff. Yeah, I, was... I have everything written down, so I can. Do you want to do the arrest report and I can do the incident report? Oh, uh, yeah. So, uh, what are we charging him for? Uh, three. Aggravated fleeing and eluding. Yeah, aggravated Three fleeing. counts of grand theft. Yep. And resisting arrest without contention. Do we plan what on giving that? him a deal? Yeah, we'll put a word into the DA. We'll try and help him out a little bit. He seemed to remember a little bit more in that yeah, cognitive maybe. How was? Yeah. How was Mr. Hawthorne involved in this? I know that he mentioned some someone who matches that description with hair on top of the shaved side. Hawthorne? That seems like Mr. Hawthorne. Wasn't the that the guy that we Mr. spoke to up? Um... The van. Yeah, the van. Yeah. He's the manager of uh, Mr. Hickens. He was behind the van. Give me a second. I'm pretty sure that's who he was talking about. Yeah, take him a photo of him, maybe. Might help him out a bit more in a deal. Mr. Hawthorne, was it a Jack Hawthorne? It was a... 
Yeah, that's him. I just looked him up on my tablet. Well, guess what? What? What's up? Hmm. Ah, <laughs> oh, that couldn't be better, detective. I just saw it. Mm-hmm. He has that Audi R8 blue in color yep. with IQ and the nines in it. A blue Audi Literally R8. Mm -hmm. well, just look at that. And so hmm. I I missed that Myers were Myers were plugged. What uh? How is he involved in this? What does he What did he say? Yeah, Cawthorn. Apparently he's the he's the one who's apparently been organizing this whole thing. He's the leader. Apparently he's the leader mm -hmm. of these guys anyway. So, so if there's a boss above him, maybe. But what he's is... currently the boss of these guys, of him. That's who we want. Didn't he mention the yeah. reason why he would steal vehicles and then just leave them? What is the purpose of just to show up? No, I think Mr. It's I think Mr. Hawthorne was there like to you... get the car. I think he was there to get the car, but we rocked yeah. up a little too early, and he had to. He conveniently still had his van mm -hmm. there, and I think Mr. Hickens was there to pick up the first car. Mm -hmm. But I think um, he did work yeah. there though, because his manager did confirm he worked there. So I think he did work there, but he wanted the car there so he could just keep it. Not, I don't know, but I think they're both in on it as well. Yeah, I, I think this is just, they're pretty smart. Yeah, they're pretty smart. I think they kind of knew what they were doing, but this crap. is well set up. I'll crap. give them that. This is well set up. Yeah, it was. I'm probably Not gonna. Well enough, though. Um. I don't know if you want to stick with this case, Detective. Um, I'm probably going to pass it on up to um, Major Crimes, though. My end of it, anyway. It's a bit above my... I prefer, the, you know, I'd do other crimes. Uh, I'd give it to Robertson. He's Major Crimes. Yeah, I'm I heard he to... was actually investigating car theft. Yeah, I heard him and Reed uh, were investigating happened. car theft, so I'm probably going to pass yeah. it up to them, too. And, Detective, you can stay on uh, as yeah. well if you want. Yeah, sure. All right, I say we. Right, I'll you want to? Let's show him a picture of Mr. Hawthorne, and then we're going for lunch. Though I'm starving. Literally, Hawthorne. I literally need f food like mm. now. Yeah, me too. Okay. Let's all go in there and just confront him. Oh, oh. Dick Cop's back. Dick Cop. <laughs> hey, how you doing? <laughs> oh, good. Huh, party in here. It is. Because you are getting one hell of a deal that we're putting in for you, I can tell you that much. Mm hmm Is this the guy? Oh, who is that? Oh, and, mm, 75% chance. I'm going to say that from your first... No, his chance. first reaction, that was a yes. He then tried to hide it, but that was definitely oh, a it yes. definitely yeah. was. That's a yes. Okay. Thank you for your cooperation, sir. We appreciate it. Yep. Oh, is that all you wanted? Cuff you back up. It is, it is all I wanted. I'm gonna go home to my husband and kids now, so you have a good day. Oh, you're missing a ring there, detective. <laughs> Don't always wear rings on the job. Oh! <laughs> Alright guys, that's gonna do it for this one. Um, there'll be a lot more of this, but I'll probably do it as Reed, and we'll go from there. But Thanks everyone for hanging out. I had a great time. This was an awesome case to investigate, and I'll see you in the next one.